Guys, I'm happy that you made it through all the previous sections, all the theory sections, and now it's time to apply our knowledge into many thermodynamic applications, for instance, testing models using analysis, regression of data. Let me show you very rapidly what are we going to cover in this, okay? We're going to see few components. We're going to check out the chemical estimation of ibuprofen, coal, we're going to check out the vapor liquid data on Tolduin, Pentane, how to calculate the equilibrium based on Gibbs free energy, few properties of uh, benzene via NIST tables. We will see the difference of the property methods for water, some uh, property sets, vapor pressure of pure substances, binary systems, we will check out the ideal systems, real systems, uh, activity coefficients, fugacity factors. We will see how different models fit the data, which one is better, which one is not. We will check out also how to improve existing methods. We have this workshop in which we will do regression in order to improve the Peng Robinson model. What we have here how to show the NRTL Unifac differences on benzene ethanol experimental data, how to compare and fit data um, using regression, vapor liquid, how can we get different NIST data from the thermodynamic uh, engine, how can we add raw data in order to use regression and get models, how can we see if those are relevant or not, what else do we have, Keep verification, how to use the PT envelope to calculate dew points, bubble points of mixtures, how can we get uh, activity coefficients, how can we identify two phases in liquid phase, for instance, liquid liquid equilibrium, how can we search for ice traps, application to cryogenics, which is essentially the distillation of air, and yes, yeah, essentially that's, those are some workshops of interest. The idea here is that you actually work on them. It's very important that you work on the workshops. If you just see this as a video and you are not working in a computer, you will forget it in two or three days. So if you work with the mouse and you are actually using the keyboard, the monitor interaction, you, I'm pretty sure this will last at least for one year or two years. You need to always be reviewing all the topics. So the more workshops you do, the more practice you do, the more you will learn.